viruses, the microscopic agents of infection, come in diverse types. Some viruses sport an outer NV and human herpes viruses specialize in infecting humans ex rely on vectors like mosquitoes for transmission. Viruses come in various types, classified by their structure, genetic material, and how they interact with hosts. Let's explore them one by one. Viruses, the microscopic agents of infection, come in diverse types classified by their genetic material. First, we have DNA viruses, like herpes viruses and papillomaviruses, carrying their genetic information in the form of DNA. On the other hand, RNA viruses, such as influenza viruses and HIV, utilize RNA as their genetic blueprint. Beyond genetics, viruses also vary in their structural makeup. Some viruses sport an outer envelope composed of lipids, like influenza virus and HIV. Meanwhile, others lack this envelope, such as adenovirus and rhinovirus. Understanding a virus's host range sheds light on its infectivity. Certain viruses, like HIV and human herpes viruses, specialize in infecting humans exclusively. Conversely, Zoonotic viruses, such as influenza viruses and Ebola virus, can leap between animals and humans. The mode of transmission plays a crucial role in a virus's spread. Respiratory viruses, like influenza viruses and rhinoviruses, hitch a ride on respiratory droplets. Others, like HIV and herpes simplex virus, are transmitted through intimate contact. Vector-borne viruses, such as dengue virus and Zika virus, rely on vectors like mosquitoes for transmission. Lastly, viruses can be categorized based on the diseases they cause. Some viruses, like HPV and hepatitis B virus, are notorious for their role in cancer development. Others target specific tissues, such as nerve cells with viruses like rabies virus, or cause severe symptoms like bleeding and organ failure with viruses like Ebola virus and dengue virus. Viruses, with their intricate classifications, remind us of the complex world of microbiology. Keep in mind that viruses can often overlap categories, and some may not fit neatly into one specific classification. If you found this exploration fascinating, be sure to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.